Hey there folks, today I'd like to take a casual peek into the Star Wars Saga Legends Zuckus action figure set by Hasbro. This set is numbered 3 in the Saga Legends line and was first available in 2010. This set was sold at most mass retailers and I purchased this at one of those mass retailers, I can't remember which one. Uh, but I purchased it in 2010 and uh, most uh, stores sold these figures at anywhere from 6 to $10. Taking a look at Zuckus here, uh, you can see he's in this uh, nice uh, Saga Legends uh, packaging here. We have a picture of uh, the bounty hunter there. And uh, of course uh, we have the figure here, uh, which is nice as he appeared in the Star Wars Empire Strikes Back uh, movie. On the right uh, we have here a card that's used in the Galactic Battle Game and can be also be used as a stat card for the figure. And uh, also you can see the die here that's included uh, for the game. And uh, this uh, set also includes uh, secret weapons, so uh, pretty cool. On there. Here we, we have the uh, back of the packaging with a nice uh, photo of Zuckus uh, from the movie. And a, there's a description of Zuckus there. And we have a picture of the figure. And again, it describes that there are secret weapons, including uh, uh, the one uh, that's with the figure there. And another uh, description of the card. Uh, that uh, can be used in the game and there's a picture uh, of a game in progress there uh, using the figures, uh, the die, stand, and the stat cards there. Pretty cool. And here uh, we have uh, a preview of other figures from the same wave as Zuckus. Uh, we have number four uh, which is Greedo, number five Jango Fett, number six is Darth Vader, and number seven is Princess Leia in Bosch disguise. So. A pretty heavy bounty hunter uh, wave, you could say. Now we'll be right back and have Zuckus here out of the package. Alright, we're back and we have Zuckus here out of the package. And I like this figure. And actually, I have a bias toward uh, Star Wars bounty hunters, especially uh, ones that had appeared in these famous scene in Empire Strikes Back, uh, the iconic six, I guess you can call them. And uh, so I'm a bit biased uh, with my views on Zuckus, so uh, if this is a, a, an overly positive uh, overview of the figure, uh, that's the reason why. Now if you're not aware, uh, Zuckus has a special place in the Star Wars action uh, figure history in that he was formerly known as another bounty hunter uh, by the name of uh, his buddy Forlom. That's right, uh, Zuckus uh, was Forlom uh, in the early days of uh, the Star Wars action figures. And it actually wasn't, I believe, uh, years later when uh, they discovered that the names of Forlom and Zuckus were actually reversed. So uh, it was kind of cool uh, that they actually uh, placed the proper name uh, with the figure. And uh, Zuckus is now known as Zuckus and not Forlom. So pretty cool. Now, uh, Taking a look at uh, the items that come with this particular version of Zuckus here. We have, uh, to start out, uh, this here. It's a nice pamphlet. Uh, I guess showing off uh, other figures uh, in the line. And uh, let me just unfurl this. And uh, you can see a couple of the figures here. Boba Fett and uh, Han Solo. Actually from a different line from the vintage uh, collection line there. And uh, we have uh, Luke Skywalker uh, evading some Imperial uh, AT-ATs. And uh, we have some vehicle sets including the AT-AT, the Cloud Car and uh, Snow Speeder. Pretty cool. On the other side, it uh, looks like uh, we have advertisement for uh, Star Wars The Clone Wars. One of General Grievous and Anakin Skywalker there. And a nice uh, display there of uh, Anakin, uh, looks like a uh, fighting Grievous with Captain Rex in the background. Yeah, pretty cool. And uh, we also have uh, what look like a vehicle set, uh, role play set uh, for the Star Wars line here. So nice little uh, pamphlet there. 
Next thing uh, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at are the, I guess the bonus pack of extra weapons here. Uh, they come in this nice little plastic bag and uh, basically just uh, extra weapons to outfit uh, whoever you want uh, in your Star Wars collection there. And just uh, empty this out here. And uh, for this particular assortment, uh, we have uh, a couple of blasters, what look like uh, some blaster rifles. We'll go ahead and show them off uh, real quick here. We've got a blaster here. You can get it into focus there. Uh, looks like a, with a stock on there. Looks like a blaster uh, rifle on this one. Pretty cool. Uh, we have one with a sling here. Uh, this one's uh, nicely detailed. Uh, none of them are painted though. They're all cast in black plastic. We got a blaster here. That's pretty cool. Yet a different blaster. And um, I guess an assault blaster. I'm not sure. <laughs> this one looks uh, more typical of what the stormtroopers use on that one. So uh, that's kind of cool. Uh, I don't know if they're randomized. Uh, I've never really compared it uh, between sets, but uh, I kind of guess they are. So. Uh, Next thing we're going to take a look at is the, I guess, uh, die here. Six-sided die with various icons on them. Uh, one on each side, so it looks like it's unique. So you can uh, have one of six uh, different results there. Uh, this is in blue. And let me just turn this down a little bit. And uh, with uh, some white on there. Pretty cool, uh, used in the game. And uh, here we have a stat card for Zuckus. And uh, I guess uh, the various icons uh, for a Zuckus on there. And uh, you notice there's only five of the six on there. So I guess he gets bonuses uh, for only uh, five of the six um, sides of the, of the die. Oh, also, and a nice picture here of. Uh, Zuckus and his buddy Forlom, uh, who uh, had uh, their names reversed uh, for the figures. So uh, yeah, he was formerly known as Forlom, and he was formerly known as Zuckus, and uh, they finally corrected that uh, years after the initial uh, switcheroo. And uh, here we have stats uh, for Zuckus, his force ability, battle skills, intelligence, mechanical skill, leadership, and luck on there. And I guess these are his base values on there. Pretty neat, and uh, we have a look, what looks like a, I guess a quick guide to the game, on there. Let me get that in the focus. Try, very small print, on there. Uh, the last uh, neat thing here uh, we have is uh, a combination display base, and I guess card holder. Uh, you place. I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing this correctly, so forgive me if I'm, if I got this wrong. Uh, I think it may go in like that, uh, showing uh, the stats there. And uh, th I believe uh, these notches in the display base are supposed to highlight the bonuses uh, that you have for this particular uh, figure you're placing the uh, putting onto the base. And uh, for this particular base, I guess he has bonuses to this uh, icon and this icon. Uh, this icon representing luck, and this icon representing uh, mechanical skill. Now, I believe these notches are different uh, from uh, set to set. Uh, there may be a set number of uh, bases that have uh, certain uh, notches in certain positions. Uh, I'm going to guess that on there. And uh, this uh, display base also has two pegs where you can place the feet of the figure on. Uh, for uh, Zuckus uh, being such a smaller figure, I don't think you can put uh, both feet uh, onto the pegs. Uh, probably just uh, one of the feet on one of the pegs there. So that's a nice uh, display base there. Now, taking a look at uh, Zuckus, uh, formerly known as Forlom. And uh, I believe this particular figure was released before in the previous uh, Star Wars line. Uh, uh, the Legacy Collection, maybe? 
and uh, I did not have that figure and or any figure of this version of uh, Zuckus uh, this is my first uh, Zuckus figure uh, from the Saga Legends so uh, if uh, there are differences between the previous versions of the figure I don't know what they are but uh, taking a look at this uh, particular version of Zuckus it's actually quite neat and kind of surprised uh, that this uh, figure is uh, a Saga Legends uh, figure uh, because it's highly detailed. I, I would think uh, this would have been from the more uh, higher end uh, Star Wars line such as the Vintage Collection line where there's uh, the details on those figures and some of the articulations a little bit better. And uh, for a Saga Legends figure this is actually quite nice. I am uh, a bit impressed uh, with the figure. Taking a look at Zuckus here, you can see uh, the nicely detailed head sculpt, uh, which uh, for the longest time I thought was his head, but looking at the figure here now, uh, again, this is my first time uh, having a Zuckus figure, it looks like uh, this particular head is really a helmet, and uh, which is very interesting. Uh, take a look at some of the details of the head there, or helmet. Um, I thought uh, this uh, for years was just a mask he was wearing, uh, a breathing apparatus. But uh, looking at the figure, you see it's nicely detailed. Uh, the eyes are painted silver and that mask or breathing apparatus is also painted a, a little bit darker uh, silver, more gray, metal gray on there. But um, I never noticed uh, the back of this here. and. Uh, uh, it looks like it's part of uh, his breathing apparatus, but uh, as you can see, you got the, I guess, cable here snaking around from uh, this uh, mechanical unit here uh, around the figure and going to the sides of his head, uh, or what I thought was his head, but uh, now that I've seen this, uh, I wasn't aware of this back part here, but uh, now seeing it, uh, it looks like uh, this may be just an entire helmet uh, here and uh, which is uh, kind of kind of cool uh, in, in a way because I thought these were just tendrils uh, when I had seen pictures or watched the movie uh, I never realized that it was hooked up to an apparatus in the back uh, which is pretty cool so uh, and it looks like uh, these cables here can be removed from the helmet or head uh, they look like they're pegged in, and uh, they do uh, rotate a little bit, but I don't want to uh, pull them out just in case they don't come back. <laughs> they aren't able to be placed back in. So, But I'm going to guess that uh, they're able to be removed and uh, put back in. Uh, over On the other end, it looks like it's uh, just sculpted into uh, the uh, apparatus here. And the apparatus is uh, pegged into the back. Now, this can be removed, uh, definitely. So if you don't want to use this and place something else on his back, you can. Um, but uh, I just like to leave it there. Uh, kind of neat. And uh, some nicely sculpted detail that's painted in uh, silver, it looks like, or cast in silver. Uh, I can't tell. Uh, but it's got some nice sculpting detail on there. Very cool. Uh, looking at the rest of the figure here uh, with the torso, you can see a whole bunch of neat items. You can see this little thing attached to his helmet which uh, is a I'm not sure what it is but based on the picture it looks like a, a piece of glass uh, with some uh, material in there but uh, it's just sculpted plastic there and painted uh, to replicate the uh, glass like structure there and yeah, kind of neat and it goes around uh, to the back of his helmet I got on, on there and uh, also on the torso here you can see uh, he's got a lot of pouches and straps going across his torso which is nice uh, the upper half of this figure he's decked out in uh, like a, like a cloak or a robe uh, but uh, the upper half is uh, solid uh, plastic on here while the lower half is a cloth goods so uh, that's uh, kind of interesting on there and uh, you can see he's wielding a blaster on here and uh, I don't want to remove it from his right hand because uh, he has a difficult time uh, gripping it. And uh, I have a plastic uh, strap uh, there or band uh, wrapped around uh, for him to grip uh, the uh, blaster. Actually it came included uh, with that strap uh, wrapped around and uh, I just haven't removed it. 
and uh, you can see the details of the his blaster I think uh, this is unique to him Zuckus there and it's got a very interesting design here and I, I don't know if that's a scope or not and uh, he can place his other hand uh, in this area here uh, for him to grip it two-handed uh, which is nice on there and it looks like uh, my battery is running out all right, day. Uh, taking a look at the rest of Zuckus here. Let me just uh, take this off again. You can see more details on the figure. He's got this big pouch here in the middle uh, at his waist, uh, which is cool. And uh, along the belt, you can see more pouches in the back, and uh, that's actually kind of neat. And it's uh, painted uh, with some weathering detail, so that's kind of neat. And he's got this uh, crotch covering uh, piece here that uh, looks like it's layered uh, it's sculpted to look like it's layered on there um, very cool and uh, we have here the cloth goods uh, lower half of his uh, robe on here uh, which is uh, pretty interesting uh, it's got some artificially uh, weathered detail on there uh, looks like uh, just slops of paint uh, applied on there very interesting uh, uh, with a different color there to add to the weathered look I guess uh, to Zuckus uh, very interesting uh, one thing I noticed uh, and what I remember uh, seeing uh, from the movies uh, I don't remember uh, the split down the middle of his cloak uh, and looking at some pictures uh, it is uh, overlaid uh, a majority of it going to his left like uh, this uh, it's basically closed so very interesting how uh, this is split it down the middle and the way it was packaged it warped the uh, fabric here to where it's always uh, going outwards uh, revealing his legs. So uh, in the future or after this video actually I may just uh, do something like add a piece of tape to, to have that closed to better represent uh, the Zuckus uh, that I remember there. So but interesting. Uh, taking a look at some more details here, you can see uh, the leggings underneath the robes, uh, which we were never able to see. So uh, I guess, I don't know if uh, this was used uh, from a design dictionary that uh, Hasbro was able to get a hold of uh, Zuckus and uh, actually uh, sculpt the lower half of the leg, or they just made it up entirely, I'm not sure. Uh, but it's nice how the shin here represents uh, the groin cover there uh, so that's kind of cool and that's uh, painted in silver by the way uh, it's pretty neat and he's got some uh, boots here uh, and that's uh, this uh, shin guard is actually sculpted uh, as part of the boot so overall a very nicely sculpted figure uh, it's just really cool and uh, like I said uh, surprising for a Saga Legends uh, figure on there Going over the articulation, uh, we have here uh, the head on a, I believe is a ball joint, and uh, can go all the way, all the, no, not really all the way around unless you remove the, uh, uh, the breathing apparatus on the back. Uh, but with the apparatus on the back, it uh, does restrict the movement and can really just go side to side, up and down, and uh, tilt uh, a little bit uh, side to side on there. Uh, the arms go all the way around at the shoulder and they also go out and in. Uh, the elbows can go all the way around as well as uh, in and out. And the hands uh, are uh, pre-formed uh, uh, in an open or gripping uh, uh, pose and uh, they go all the way around at the wrist. There is no uh, torso articulation but there is waist articulation that allows the figure to go uh, not all the way around because uh, the two pouches run into each other but uh, almost all the way around in uh, either direction there and the uh, legs are joined at the hip with a typical T crotch so uh, the legs can go up down and back uh, but not really out to, uh, to the side uh, the knees uh, do bend on a single uh, hinge joint there as well as a uh, all the way around on a swivel uh, joint there and the feet are on a similar joint uh, they can go uh, up and uh, down really more downward than upward 
and can go all the way around so uh, very nice articulation uh, for a Star Wars figure again uh, I'm surprised uh, that this is not really a figure from the uh, vintage uh, collection line or where they're more detailed than uh, your typical Star Wars figures so pretty cool figure to have especially if you're a fan of uh, bounty hunters or uh, the Empire Strikes Back scene uh, that was shown uh, with the bounty hunters and uh, or just really a Star Wars collector in general I think it's a really nice figure to have uh, this is my casual peek into the Star Wars Saga Legends Zuckus action figure thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time